सो ही वॉट्स अगर जिन पे स्टडी हीयर एंड वेलकम बैक एन अदर एक्साइटेड एलिमेंट स्टडी ट्यूटोरियल सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ प्रोमो डिज़ाइन इट विल नाट बी अ कम्प्लीट प्रोमो डिज़ाइन बट द गोल फॉर मेकिंग दिस ट्यूटोरियल इज हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट दैट टाइप ऑफ क्लीन एंड मिनिमल डिज़ाइन इन साइड एलमे थ्री डी लाइक इन ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी वी आर गेटिंग अ मच क्लीनर एंड गुड प्रोडक्ट डिज़ाइन लुक ऑन स्क्रीन सो इट्स कम्प्लीटली एलमे थ्री डी सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल यू विल लर्न हाउ टू लाइट हाउ टू यू नो जस्ट मेक योर रेंडर वेरी कूल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट यू कैन जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन एंड मेक अ न्यू कॉम्पोजिशन एंड दिस गोना बी अवर फोन क्लीन एंड द रिजोल्यूशन कैन बी एनी थिंग योर डिजायर रेजोल्यूशन बट फॉर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू यूज टू जीरो फोर एट बाई टू जीरो फोर एट एंड हिट ओके एंड लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू मेक अ एनिमेशन आई विल शो यू द रेंडर एंड एवरी प्रोसेस बट आई विल नॉट मेक अ एनिमेशन सो लेट्स मेक अ न्यू शॉलिड यू कैन जस्ट राइट क्लिक एंड मेक अ न्यू शॉलिड और यू कैन जस्ट गो टू द लेयर अ न्यू शॉलिड इवन यू कैन प्रेस कंट्रोल वाई टू मेक अ न्यू शॉलिड एंड दिस गोना बी और एलमेन थ्री डी लेट्स मेक अ न्यू इफेक्ट कॉल एलमेन थ्री डी सो प्रेस कंट्रोल स्पेस दिस इज एफ एक्स कंसोल इट्स फ्री सो लेट्स टाइप एलमेंट एंड डन यू डन इट ग्रेट जॉब मैन यू डन इट Let's go inside the scene setup and let's start the magic. For base, for creating the base, you can make any base like what you want. So you can just make any base. So for now, I am going to make like our preview, and it's good. So first, let's make it optimize mesh so it will reduce it little bit. Now I will. uh correct the bevels because this is too much but i don't want too much of bevels so i will remove it i mean i will decrease it so on here you can see the option called chamfer i will press control and i will just drag down it so by pressing control it will slow it so it's good now i will duplicate this box and make it here like this it's pretty good and if you want you can just make it one more copy i'm pressing alt and i'm just copying it and you can make it like this so you can do it anything man it's up to you you are designing something so the art is in your hand you can do it anything so the design is looking cool and further uh, in further we can also change and add anything so it's good for now and we and we will uh, use this portion for rendering or anything press control and select this one and make it little bit up like this it's good and now let's bring our phone so by default i already downloaded this model you can just normally click and it will load here so by default the size of phone is big so either you can big the whole setup or you can just small or you can just small this phone down you know you can down the scale so let's make it 4 and it's small and it's good so let's come over here and let's rotate it rotate it and make it on a good position and it's good i can just rotate it by the way i press e for rotation and let's make it here and by default now you can see we are facing issues to visualize where is the actual plane or the box and the other object so you can enable ambient occlusion so it will when it will go near it will create a dense shadow so we will know where is the thing so i think it's good for now 
So let's hit OK. By default, make sure your plane, I mean the model optimized mesh, is checked on. Hit OK. Now let's bring a new camera. And I'm using 80 millimeter. You can use anything. You know, you can try different things, man. And let's make the let's focus our phone. So I think this is cool. We can adjust it later also. So this is cool for now. And let's go to element 3D and let's build the render setting and the lighting. I mean, I'm going to light my scene. So I will create a new spotlight. You know, these times I am a fan of spotlight. So I'll create a new spotlight and these are my settings. You can increase or decrease anytime. It's up to you. And by default, the shadows darkness, I'm going to put 100 and the diffusion, I'll put zero so that I can show you. Let's go to the element 3D and enable shadows. So you'll see the shadows and make sure the ray trace shadow enable. Let's go to the active camera custom view and let's press control shift H to see where is our light and let's move it by default our phone is here so we'll just rotate it and we'll move our light here and by the way you can uh, also change their angle and you can cast shadow according that so let's hit active camera i want shadow from this section so i will so it's good for now it's pretty good but you can see it's a very hard shadow we don't want a hard shadow we want a very soft and clean shadow so what the way you can use and fix it so first go to the spotlight settings and here is your option called shadow diffusion so you will increase it so you can just increase it and you will see the difference here and it's up to you how much softer you want so in this case let's make it 100 for now or maybe 150 and you will get some noise so go to the element 3D shadows and enable the samples to 4 by default I use 4 quite a lot and even you can just go again to the diffusion and make it 400 to make it even more softer so let's choose this one and this is pretty good let's go to the element 3D scene setup and let's make our material a little bit more good so let's see, uh, uh, I want a new material for this box. So let's press control new and apply the material for this both. And let's change the color to something around gray. And apply same for this one. And uh, create a new material and apply on this box. And let's make the let's check this box use the diffuse color and increase the intensity to 45 or not too much i mean you can use 10 to little bit soft and bright this and you can same do this for for this one also let's make it 12 so pretty good and hit ok by the way you can also change the color like i can apply this white on the top and build black I mean the gray in the bottom one and by the way you can also see and you can also see the reflection so you can just down the reflection by going to the glossiness and just you can down it from both area and now it's looking very good let's enable ambient occlusion and again you can see this is not good so let's see the way how you can fix it i'm going to change it to the ray trace shadow and the ray trace shadow is very i will not say very accurate but it's 
way better than SSAO so you can use it if your graphics card support so let's correct it so I will use the contrast to around 0.8 I will down the max distance to 50 I will down the spread amount to 0.85 and I will down the gamma to something around 1 and damn good we done it you know you can see we done it even if you think it's too much of ambient occlusion you can also down the intensity from here but I think it's good I mean I can just make it 0.9 and there are too many ways to fix and correct all these things so I will go to the physics and environment and here is three options which I normally you correct like exposure gamma and the lightning influence so I will down the gamma to 0.6 or 0.5 whatever suits my scene I can increase the exposure to 1.2 I mean 1.2 not 0.2 and you can also down the lightning influence if you want a very you know this lighter scene so let me show you the both ways both options so if I will press 10 you will see you got some good result and if you want to make it little bit contrasty you can make it 45 so it's up to you so let's go with the 20 and it's quite a good thing I mean the I love it let's go in go back to the scene setup and let's duplicate this model and put it here and let's rotate it so I will press E and shift and rotate it and I will correct the rotation so good hit ok looking too good and if you want you can also use some wallpaper in your screen so by default I already set it so this wallpaper I downloaded from online go to the element 3d and the custom layer custom texture map and you can choose it from here let me show you one thing which I already did I mean when I just make the model save I save it here so when I, I already did it so like I will press control and select this so it will select the screen and here I already set the custom texture so when I will load the texture outside of custom texture map it will bring it here so let me hit ok and go to the custom layer and let's load it and it will load it here cool and you can change any wallpaper if you want and if you if you will not see in your phone you will do press control and select the screen and just go and load that here and done we done it hit ok and we can also uh, create a new adjustment layer and put on the top and let's add a course effect and let's make it yes curve and you can see the design is very cool and if you think the saturation of wallpaper is not too good or too much you can also add a hue and saturation here and you can increase the saturation from here and let me show you a one more quick tip maybe which you will not get anywhere so you will say hey man if my phone is red and I already set up the material and I will use hue and saturation here it will definitely increase the saturation of my wallpaper but it will also increase the saturation of my phone so that's a good point so let me show you the way how you can fix it so let's see if you have a bright red phone and you don't want to control saturation from here so you'll just off it or disable it go back to the scene setup so let's select the material and click here and here you will see some of the parameters so here is an option called saturation so you can increase the saturation from here also 
and damn you did it so this is it guys and i hope you enjoy this tutorial and i hope you will like it and by default this is up to you you can create many things like if i want this double sided let's make it bigger So let's see I can create some you know some lines if I want there are many things many 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 things which you can do to enhance your design and things inside Elma 3d you know the possibilities is started when you open your software and start designing So that's it. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. I hope you like it. And if you learn something from this tutorial, I will hope you will subscribe this channel. You can download this project file from my Patreon page. And this is it, guys. Thanks for your love. Thanks for your support. I am NPCD and we will see you next time with a great tutorial. And one more thing, guys. The announcement, the next tutorial is coming soon. And this that will be also from for clean and minimal design and that's a secret i mean i will not use phone again i will not use laptop tablet pc because all these things will work same here but i will use something different and i will show you from the beginning so this is it i hope you like this and see you soon